Stash is a platform that you can use to help manage your research data. The platform allows you to create a research data management plan, create archival data records, and publish your data if required. In this video, we will focus on creating a research data management plan, or RDMP. An RDMP is a document that describes what data will be created, who will own and have access to the data, what facilities and equipment will be required, who will be responsible for these activities. We'll create an RDMP using the Create RDMP function under the Plan a Research Project tab. We will focus on mandatory fields, which cover the essential information for all research projects. These required fields are indicated with an asterisk and need to be completed before you can save your RDMP. Because an RDMP is a living document, you can come back and update it with more information as your project progresses. The first tab is a project overview. This is where you will provide a broad description of your project. The three required fields are project name, project ID, and project description. If you are unsure what to write in each field, you can click on the blue question mark, which will give you more information and suggestions. The name of the project is the title of the research project associated with the creation of this data. If the project is recorded in my proposal, typing a partial title or ID should find and fill the details. If it's an informal project, you can type any title, but take care as you can only change this by contacting a data librarian. The project number can be any open ID, if there is one, or any short name or acronym by which the project is known. If you are an HDR student, you can use your student number. If you are an HDR student, you can select the HDR project tick box if it isn't already selected. This will pre-fill your supervisor details if available. Next is the project description. This description is of the research project as a whole not the data specifically, to give context to the data and how it relates to your research. Once you have completed these required fields, you can save the page and move on to the next section. The People section highlights who is responsible for the data. There are two required fields, First Name Chief Investigator and the Data Manager, and these must be current UTS staff or students. The first name Chief Investigator is the Senior Manager or Director with stewardship responsibility for the data. The first name Chief Investigator is also known as the Data Steward. If you are an HDR student, your primary supervisor is the first name Chief Investigator. The Data Manager is the person who manages the collection, storage, access to and use of the research data. During a project, the data manager is the person with responsibility for the hands-on management of the research data. If you are an HDR student, then you will be the data manager. This tab will help you manage any ethics requirements, privacy concerns, or sensitivities associated with your data. Sensitivities may include commercial, security classified, or other sensitive data. This page has only two required fields by default. However, Additional mandatory fields will appear depending on how you answer these questions. The first required field is selecting the appropriate information security classification for your data. Click on the blue question mark to access a document that provides more information about each level of classification. The security classification has implications around how your data is collected, stored and managed, so it is important to be clear about these requirements at the start of your project. If your research involves any of the listed types of data, it may require ethics approval, fall under a security classification above the default, and require additional safeguards regarding storage and access. For example, if your research involves human participants, you will then be prompted to answer additional mandatory questions, which outline the potential likelihood and severity of risk to participants from accidental disclosure of the data and consider storage options that minimize this risk. Give careful thought to whether any data or information can potentially identify individuals, as this will mean you have obligations under privacy legislation. 
If you select any of the above fields that require ethics approval, the form will auto populate the yes response in the is ethical approval required for your project. Additional guidance is available if you click on the blue question mark and you can also find more information and relevant contacts on the research ethics and integrity page on Staff Connect. Data collection outlines your methodology for collecting or generating data. In the next area, you will define the predominant file formats that will be associated with your research data. If you are using any proprietary software, it is useful to include this information and the version you are using. You need to select the appropriate storage location. This will be determined by various factors, including the information security classification of your data, the type and volume of the data you will be collecting and generating, as well as access considerations. You can find more information about the various data platforms available at UTS by clicking on the blue question mark. A copy of all research data supporting published findings must be retained by UTS for a minimum period after the final publication related to that data. The retention period for most research is five years, but certain data sets have longer retention periods. This tab also confirms the data steward who will be responsible for the retention and disposal of the UTS copy of the research data. In some circumstances, you may have made commitments to destroy part of the data you collected or generated before the end of the retention period. If this is the case, you will be prompted to provide further details to help ensure these commitments are observed. This tab asks who has intellectual property rights over the data. In most but not all cases, HDR students hold copyright over research data they create. Situations where these generalizations may not apply include where another contract agreement takes precedence, where background intellectual property rights must be considered, or where the data is collected from Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander peoples. The University of Technology Sydney is the owner of data generated through research conducted by staff members on standard employment contracts. Ownership of IP by UTS does not impinge upon your moral rights, nor does it necessarily prevent you from keeping a copy of the data for continuing research. You will also confirm who has access rights to the data during this retention period. If you indicate that you are using any secondary or third-party data, you will be prompted to answer additional questions that address any copyright implications relating to this data. Here you should inform us of any legal or contractual conditions affecting management of the data and attach any ethics approvals, licenses or agreements, if applicable, after you have saved your plan. The final tab does not have any required fields, but allows you to link any of the available UTS services or platforms you are using to your RDMP. You can make requests for workspaces or storage via this list that will trigger a Service Connect ticket. You should receive an email after you have made one. Once you have created your RDMP, you can view and edit it as necessary by clicking on the View Update RDMP section. To update your plan, click Edit this plan. You can also download a PDF copy if you need one for grant applications or ethics approvals, or to keep as a backup. This brings us to the end of the introduction to Stash video. Some key things to keep in mind are, your RDMP is a living document, so go back and update it as your project develops. The information security classification determines where your data can be stored and handled. Ethics will want to see your RDMP, and you will need to complete all mandatory fields before you can save your RDMP. If you have any questions on using Stash, contact your faculty librarian 